What's up YouTube, Aram here with Urban Tarantulas and this is the Urban Tarantulas Facility. Today, we have a super interesting video for you and it is breeding the darkest tarantula in the world. It is the Pamphibidius Antinius. We're gonna jump straight into the video, but before that, I wanna show you guys something. This girl has been naughty. She's been chewing through the screen. And if she got through that, she's gonna be loose in the room and the wife would not be happy about that. All right. Let's get straight to the breeding process. I'm gonna pop this lid open. Here we have the female, right over here. She is six and a half, seven inches or so. I'm not actually 100% certain that she's gonna be breedable, but she looks big enough and we're gonna give it a go. So over here, we have the mature male where they've been shark tanking. They can't get to one another and that is why it's a shark tank. So this male has been cohabbing with the female in this protective enclosure so they could get acclimated to one another and today is going to be the day we're going to introduce them together so the male is maybe one molt ahead of the female so typically the female is going to be the larger one but in this case we have a female that is not bigger than the male but we're still going to give it a go it does not hurt to try and we will do such that the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coax this male out into the female's habitat and see if they're gonna be receptive towards one another. All right, you pretty, pretty mature male you. Let's get you out. The purple's on the legs. Ooh, so sexy. Turn around and go towards the female and get ready to smash. <laughs> I'm gonna coax you even further towards the female where I'm sure you're not gonna get eaten. I don't care. I don't know what the hell he's doing. So typically, females are gonna be a lot larger. Females are gonna be a lot more, in this case, aggressive towards the males. We don't typically use the word aggressive when talking about tarantulas, but when it's tarantula versus tarantula, I guess you can't say the word aggressive. Towards humans, tarantulas are never aggressive. They're defensive. But sometimes tarantulas could be aggressive towards one another. But in this case, everything's going smoothly so far. I don't see any signs of showing them that they're receptive, but they're also not aggressive towards one another. A few moments later. It's about to happen. They're about to smash the male right over here the female right here i thought the female was too small she was not going to be receptive but all they needed was just a little bit of coaxing and some marvin gay that we played in the background a little earlier and they are showing signs of being receptive towards one another and i think they're about to smash the camera is picking up those beautiful beautiful purples on that mature male it's just it's it's insane at the beauty that this species possesses and this species the female right over here is gonna get nine to ten inches the size of a friggin' dinner plate if you guys can imagine so so far nothing has happened the male has not smashed the female yet come on pretty mama show that beautiful male your sweet epigastric furrow so it worked a little earlier when i was coaxing them towards one another right now they just kind of stopped doing their thing I think they're just waiting for me to coax them. So let's give it some coaxing and see what happens. Oh, that actually totally works. All right, Mr. Man, go underneath her. Use those long ass limbs of yours. Use them wisely, use them well. You're protected, you're doing good. You're a lot bigger than her. You're gonna do just fine. So I'm stimulating movement, I'm stimulating vibrations, and it's totally working for some reason. So I'm gonna keep doing it, why would I stop? The male's gonna use those tibial hooks right over here on his first set of legs, and he's gonna hold her up, and then he's gonna go underneath and stick those pedipalps into her sweet epigastric furrow. Why is this taking forever though? They're both virgins, and I remember it was confusing my first time, but I had videos to learn from. They just have me. One eternity later. Oh, I think this is working. This is totally working. Ooh, I think she got freaked out just a little bit. Okay, so I'm holding her up and he is literally going below her, beneath her. This totally worked. I can't believe that I am forcing this breeding process. She just didn't know how. Somebody had to teach her. Oh, he's going in for the smash. Nope. Oh. We haven't seen the smashing done just yet but we're getting closer and closer i just have to keep holding her limbs high up in the air so he has a easier time going down on her and what i mean by going down on her is foreplay mr cameraman 
Have we had a successful insertion yet? We have not. He's just punching air. He's punching air? Yes. They don't call him the air puncher because he can fly. So I'm gonna leave him alone and see what happens because we got her into the position, but I can't guide his pedipalps into her sweet epigastric furrow. So that didn't go according to plan. We think there was insertion, but we're not sure. We can't be 100% certain, but we're gonna try my homie Ahmed's tarantula, which is the same species. It is a Pamphibidius antinius that he has been raising and he brought this big ass enclosure to my house to try to breed his female and he's making me put in this extra work. Ahmed, if you're watching this, I'm not happy with you right now. Why do we need this big ass enclosure? All right, let's do it. First thing we're gonna do is remove her hide. She's not that big, but I would say she's about one molt ahead of our female. And we're gonna slowly introduce this male to the female because this male did not get to smash just yet. Let's go, little buddy. Actually, you're kind of a large buddy. Now this is a... Woo! He just decided to take off. All right, time to smash. We're gonna see some smashing today. That is the goal. So I'm gonna coax them together towards one another as we did before. Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna stimulate some vibrations here. Stimulating vibrations. Okay, all right, all right. This is good, this is good. Okay, okay, this is a good sign. This is an excellent sign. Okay, he's going underneath. He knows what to do this time. He's had some experience from the last female, but she's like hiding her epigastric furrow. Why, pretty mama, why? You do not want to hide that pretty epigastric furrow. Hey, don't touch that. So look at the size of his emboli, guys. This is where he stores all of his semen. And this is what he uses to insert it into the female's hoo-ha, her epigastric furrow. And over here, you can clearly see his tibial hooks. Not all tarantulas possess tibial hooks. This is just another form of protection from the female. He usually uses these to hold back the fangs. Is it time? She's showing fangs. She's showing the fangs. And he is about to put it in. Bruh. His punch in air. I want you to punch something else for a change. Oh man, he's not known for his boxing skills. He ain't no Muhammad Ali. A few moments later. Woo! Oh, oh, okay. I'm very careful right now. I'm not gonna separate them prematurely. I've done that way too many times. We're gonna try one more time. I think there was an insertion, but it doesn't hurt to try one more time. We're gonna go coax them together towards one another and see what happens. She kicked hairs. I think we're done. I don't wanna mess with the hairs. I don't wanna get anywhere near where there's kicked hairs. No, thank you. I'd rather mess around with a more defensive tarantula than a hair kicker. So that concludes our video for the Pamphibidia Santinius breeding attempt. Did you guys see insertion? Comment below. Let me know if you guys think it was successful or not. Do you want to see a part two? Do you want to see another attempt? Maybe, maybe not. Let me know. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, smash the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And Urban Tarantulas, out.